Well, hello there, Assurance Heroes. Welcome to the A Plan Podcast. A is for Assurance, and this is your weekly audit and risk talk show. He's Emre, the tech guy. He's Emre, the communication guy. All right, guys, what have we got for you this week? This week is a celebration of you guys. You guys, you're not having an easy time with a pandemic. You never have an easy time. It's a very difficult job that you've chosen to do. And this is going to be our, our love letter to internal auditors. We're coming up to Valentine's Day. And this is, <laughs> mwah, we love you. We heart you, internal auditors. So our topic is this. What does a great internal auditor look like? What do you think, Emre? What makes a great one? Well, if you would ask me this question 20 years ago, I would probably give you a <laughs> dumb answer. And I would say, Pe- a meeting with people is... <laughs> <laughs> You're certainly going to meet people. <laughs> I have no doubt about that, yeah. Well, they'll I, never forget sure you. They'll, they'll be happy to meet with me, but... <laughs> probably yeah, not. <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, uh, last couple of years... Uh, uh, I'm so glad to meet with many junior auditors uh, yes. who pay sincere attention to, to continuous learning, self-development, yes. to understand business and people they're auditing, yeah. uh, because that wasn't the case 10 years ago. Andy. I agree with that, yeah. They pay every effort to, to build the, the authentic relations and partnering with business. Yeah. And I found that that's really great. Yeah, it's very promising. It's a very mm-hmm. promising side mm-hmm. for the future of the mm-hmm. profession, especially mm-hmm. now uh, where people are talking about value and the value of internal audit. If you mm-hmm. can make that connection with the people, ultimately you're going to be delivering more value, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. I don't know. You look at social media, you look at something like LinkedIn or, or these sorts of platforms, and you see these horror stories where people say, auditors, are you relevant? What is your value? Are you sure you're giving in enough value? But I think people have never been more sensitive to that point, right? And people have never been working harder to develop themselves, their relationships, and, and, and their ability to use technology. So I think this we, we could be heading into a golden age, for yes, internal audit yes. myself. What tips can we give? I can sell anything. That's the attitude. You can sell anything. Can sell, sell, anything. sell me this fucking pen right here. You can sell anything. Sell that. Go ahead. Sell me that pen. Can I finish eating first? I need to. Who should be the, the best salesperson in your organization? It should be the internal auditor because <laughs> nobody wants to buy what you're selling, yes. right? <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> it's a hard sell, right? People aren't on the market for control, right? That's not what they're looking mm. for. Look, look at most adverts. <laughs> And it's about, you know, being a sort of more charismatic, freer version of yourself, being liberated, you know, more handsome, more sophisticated or something like that. But we're talking about less, I think, you know, more control, Mm -hmm. less risk. It's a hard sell. What do we mean by be a good salesperson? I don't know if you've ever seen that film Wolf of Wall Street about Jordan Belfort. He gave that example where he would say, you know, If he was recruiting someone to do sales, he would hold the pen and he would say, sell me the pen. Right. Now, this is a test of salesmanship. And normally when you say to somebody, okay, sell me the pen, Mm -hmm. they start talking. So they'll say, this is the best pen. This pen is scientifically developed. It's made out of platinum. It writes upside down. You can take it to space. (laughs) All this sort of bullshit, they start talking. But actually what he was trying to find out with this example, sell me the pen, is, is how you react. What you should do is say, oh, do you want to buy a pen? If the person says no, you say, okay, no problem. Stop talking. If they say, yeah, I'd like to buy a pen, what sort of pen do you use? What do you use it for? Oh, I write Christmas cards every year to my family and my loved ones. Oh, then you want a nice, sophisticated pen. So being a good salesperson means asking questions. Asking questions to understand your clients needs, their wants, their desires, their pain points. And and that's what we're talking about when we say be a good salesperson as an internal auditor. Ask those pointed questions to understand your process owner, your auditee, to understand who they are, their desires and their pain points so that you can come with effective solutions that they will be committed to. Is that really your idea of how to run a newspaper? I don't know how to run a newspaper, Mr. Fetch. I just try everything I can think of. What I do, Andy, when thinking about the role of the internal audit auditors, I'm trying to understand the relation yeah. with uh, other professions. 
because I mean, at the end of the day, what we are doing as internal auditors are not any different from what a journalist is doing. Yeah, yeah. A journalist is trying to investigate a story to understand to what what happened, what what are what is the root cause, and yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of the day, trying to um, uh, hit the uh, headline uh, the next day. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a great analogy. Yeah. I agree and with that, yeah. So, so to me, an internal auditor should have a, a skills similar to a journalist to go after a story, to, yes. to make the, an intact investigation and make the headlines yes. to create the impacts. Yes, that's right. And like with a journalist, it's got to be robust. Whatever goes yes. into print, whatever goes right. into your report or whatever goes into that article needs to stand the test of scrutiny, right? I remember years ago, right, I was doing audit report writing training in Budapest mm -hmm. for Vodafone, right? We finished the training the end of the day and we were going down. I was with two auditors there, a woman called Gulaslan. Shout out to Gulaslan. And uh, <laughs> Arpad Geislinger, right, who was the audit, mm -hmm. audit head in Hungary at the time. Shout out to Arpad and Gul, master <laughs> auditors, right? So we sort of, we came down in the lift, everybody had gone. When we got to the reception, we had our visitor's cards. Gul had one and yeah. I had one. And uh, Gul looked at the turnstiles and there was a okay. slot where you would put your card and it would spit out the card, you'd get it and walk through, right? She looked at the turnstiles, she looked at the reception desk and everybody had gone home. Okay. And she held the card and she said, our part, when I put my card into the turnstile, how am I going to give it to the reception when it's on mant? Like this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our part said, well, why don't you put it in Google and find out? And I was like, God, what's going on? <laughs> so, <laughs> tension between them. It was, it was like a, I'd walked into a cowboy movie, right? You know, it's high noon. You've got the two gunslingers at one end of the street. And I'm like, <laughs> like this, right in the line of fire. And I thought, oh, Jesus, what's going on, right? <laughs> cool walks over, puts a card in the, in the machine, in the turnstile. He didn't spit it out. He swallowed the card, okay. opened the turnstile. She walked okay. through. And she turned to our partner. She goes, good control. <laughs> like that, good control. <laughs> So many examples of this, but this is an example of how it's not just a job. It, it's, it's for life, right? You have to really care about this. Your heart's got to be yes. in it right to be a great one. This is the end, beautiful friend. Auditors, this is our love letter to you. We love you. <laughs> Mwah. You're wonderful guys doing a, a difficult job. It's not a job, it's a vocation. What time is it? If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. It's A-Team time. If you have an assurance problem, if no one else can help you, then we can, because we're your assurance agony ants. Send any questions or topics that you'd like us to talk about to the A-Plan at zohomail.eu and we'll be more than happy to share our opinions with you. So that's it for this week, Assurance Heroes. This has been the A-Plan podcast. A is for assurance. And remember, when your A-Plan's good, you don't need no B-Plan. One, two, three.